Hey, it's Chris Dungan, founder of uh, Conscious Education Podcast and Conscious Education Company. And I'm excited today to, uh, to bring to you uh, another video in this, this series of, of what I found with uh, the difference between people who create what they love and those that don't. And today's all about understanding the emotion of the end result. See, in life, it's like we live in either one of two different planes. And this is kind of coming from so, so, some alchemy terms and other places that I learned. So let me draw it out. We, we live in a, a current reality focused on a desired reality, what we want to manifest. And uh, that desired reality is going to lead us towards an end result. Now, it, it seems in life either we can be focused on that desired reality, what it is we want to create and be in it, or we can be doing something else. Okay. And, and this, this, this something else, uh, one of my mentors explained to me and, and called the, uh, the egoic agenda. Egoic agenda. Now, the egoic agenda is where instead of going for what it is that you, you want to create, you're, you're doing other things. One might be to compensate for, for ways that you feel incomplete. Another one might be to, to create something to end up somewhere else. Anyway, there are actually seven different ways that you are in your egoic agenda instead of in your end result. And I want to explain them to you uh, today. The first way that you know you're in your egoic agenda and not in your end result is you're actually focused on resolving how you feel incomplete in some area. So maybe you don't feel that you're good enough or unworthy or you feel like you don't belong or you feel like you're insignificant. And so instead of going for what you want, uh, you're actually trying to solve that problem. And so I see this many times in relationships or I see it many times in business as well is sometimes I say to people, okay, you're not actually going for what you want. You, you say that you want to build a successful business, but you're actually trying to look good. They go, what do you mean? I'm like, if you actually want a successful business, you need to put videos out. You need to take action. You need to go for it. You need to ask people to buy from you. But what are you doing? You're procrastinating. You're not putting the video out there because your actual agenda is you're scared to look silly. You're scared to look silly because you don't want judgment because you want to belong to the crowd. Your agenda is actually to belong, not to be successful. And, and this is such a, a big thing because many times we think that what we're going for is what we're going for, but our actions show us something else. So something I always say to our clients is behavior is the highest form of communication. When I was starting out in business, I said I was going for business, but I was actually trying to prove to the world that I was good enough. Okay, so the first one is that you're actually trying to compensate Instead of going for what you want, your agenda is actually compensating for a way that you feel incomplete, okay? Another way that you're, you're in your egoic agenda is out of reaction, okay? So instead of staying up here and going for what you want, something happens and so you react and you're reacting and so your agenda is to just solve that reaction. This could happen a lot. Like when you're creating, most of the time, it's not going to go all perfect. There's going to be speed bumps. There's going to be, you know, other resistance in the way. If you get caught by any of that resistance and try to solve it, you're no longer in your end result. You're solving one of the, the speed bumps. Okay. So reaction. Another way is actually other people's opinions. So as you're going for what you want, someone else has an opinion and you get caught up in that or you have a disagreement. And so can you see that most of the time we can live in one and two, two ways, People that are successfully creating are living in the end result. Those who are unsuccessful many times are living out this other agenda. Okay, another one is, is indirect means uh, or indirect process. Instead of going for what they want, that they're, they're indirectly doing something else. So they say, I want to go here to end up here. That indirect. This egoic agenda can take you on an absolute wild goose chase where you just end up going for all these other things instead of realizing a simple truth. You can have it all now. You can have it all now. When you get focused and you understand that you're either in your end result or you're doing something else, creating becomes very, very obvious because of one simple truth. Behavior and action is the highest form of communication. It is the highest form of information. What you actually do instructs what you believe more than anything else. And so you must ask yourself every day, Am I in my end result or am I going for something else? Uh, another, another way that we end up in our egoic agenda is we're scared of negative emotions. We're scared of negative emotions. We, we want to resolve negative emotions. So instead of go, we're going for our end result and there's conflict or you know maybe you, you, you lose some money. And so all of a sudden that emotion, that negativity takes you somewhere else. This happened to me a lot. You know, I'd be in my end result going for something. If it was going good and everything was going right, I could stay in it. 
But if someone got annoyed at me or frustrated or there was something there, I would race to solve it. I would go somewhere else. I wouldn't, I wouldn't stay. And it's almost at the sign of very first conflict, at the sign of anything being against, that becomes the most important thing. That becomes the object of my orientation, not the end result. And this is, uh, yeah, this, this can completely derail a creator. And these are just some of the some of the ways. But but what I want to share and what I want you to get is this is number the fourth video, and we're gonna we're gonna cover more of them. But you always can pull back to your end result. So when you see yourself or you notice yourself taking action, and you go, is this really action towards my end result, or what is what is the intent of this action? Is it to try to prove that I'm right, or is it to try to prove that I'm good enough, or am I procrastinating because I want to avoid being wrong or learning? What is a true intent? And if the true intent is anything other than the true intent is to get that, to get to that end result, what you need to do is bring yourself back and ask, what is my true end result? Step one. Step two, how would it feel to have that? Get into the end result, feel it. Ask yourself, what is the obvious action to move towards that? What is obvious? And then you must have the courage to follow through. If the obvious action is to fire that person, have that conversation, you must have the courage to follow through. If the obvious action is to put a video and face your fear, to put on a public speaking talk, to invest in that product, you must follow through. Because the more that you train your brain that you're in the end result, you're going to hit this desired reality to hit that end result, the more you train your brain that that's how you're going to be, the more it learns that's where and how you're going to be. And so it becomes easier. It's kind of like the Matthew effect. The more you have of it, the more you have it. So the more you pull back, the more you live there, the easier it becomes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're really loving this. Look, if you'd like to talk to us about our certification and the Magnet Mind process, uh, our mastery program or, or any of our business programs as well, there'll be a link under here. You can book a call with one of my team. We can talk you through those. But if you're happy just to be here on YouTube, I love you. Uh, or if you're on Spotify, wherever you are, subscribe to this because we're going to be uploading lots more information that's going to help you to live a conscious life uh, to shift into uh, a reality that you love uh, even more than you already are. So I love you so much. Thank you so much. Share this video, subscribe, all those good things. Hit the notification bell so that, uh, that you get notified when we send something else new. Have a great day. Stay focused, stay magnetic. Bye for now.